Well, hey guys, today I am going to be making some Trim Healthy Mama Pecan Praline Bars. You have to let me know if you say pecan or pecan. I don't know. Anyways, um, this is just going to be kind of a quick recipe. I've never made it before, but it looks really delicious, simple, and it has no special ingredients. So here in my bowl, I have one and one third cups of almond flour, one and a half teaspoons of coconut flour, two tablespoons of cold butter, and one and a half teaspoons of cold water. Now the recipe directions state that you should put this into a food processor and pulse until a uniform dough forms. My food processor died when I was making um, a recipe for my Trim Healthy Mama Tuesday videos and it died while I was filming. <laughs> so I don't have it any longer. I'm going to attempt to just use some forks um, and mash the dough that way. I may throw it in my KitchenAid. We'll just kind of see how it goes. But basically you want a dough to form. Then we're going to press it into the bottom of a 9 by 9 inch pan. My children are fighting, so let's get this going. So after about two seconds, I realized that trying to mash the butter with a couple of forks was going to take me forever or just way longer than I wanted to spend. So I tossed everything into my kitchen aid and just whipped it up for a couple minutes, not even, just like a minute, um, to get it sort of a uh, really ground kind of fine meal where I could press it into a baking pan. So that's kind of the consistency that you want. Um, Something that just holds its shape, I guess. That's what I'm guessing anyways. This is a new recipe to me, but I think that's what you want it like. So the recipe calls for a 9x9 nine nine baking pan. And I don't have a 9x9 nine nine baking pan. I have an 8x8. Eight eight. So I decided to just use my 9-inch pie pan. I pressed everything down well. Made sure that everything was as um, uniform as possible. And my oven is just preheating. I'm going to pop it in and bake it for 15 to 20 minutes until it's golden brown. And I will have all of the directions as well as the link to this recipe uh, down in the description box. So I have got my pie crust in the oven. I guess it's not really a pie, but it's going to kind of look like a pie because it's in a pie pan. Um, and in this pan, I have got six tablespoons of heavy cream five tablespoons of butter, and a half cup of Gentle Sweet Trim Healthy Mama Sweetener. Now, if you don't have Gentle Sweet on hand, there is a conversion chart that you can find online. Um, just very easily Google Trim Healthy Mama Sweetener Conversion Chart, and it will come up. And then you use whatever sweetener you have on hand. Um, just convert it so that it will be about half a cup of Gentle Sweet. So what we're going to want to do is melt this all together and it's going to turn a, um, a deep golden brown color and the recipe says when it turns that color you're going to pull it off of the heat and you're going to immediately add a, another tablespoon of butter so I am going to kind of just watch this so that it doesn't burn I've got my heat on a medium low temperature just to make sure that everything um, melts gently and evenly so when I'm stirring things on the stove, I like to use a rubber spatula and scrape the sides as I go along because I don't want anything to burn. And your rubber spatula is going to be really great for just making sure that you get everything off of the bottom and are able to incorporate things easily. I'm stirring left-handed because my camera is only like a right-handed camera and yeah <laughs> but this is um, it's boiling now so I'm just constantly stirring to make sure that it doesn't burn um, and just waiting for it to develop the color y'all does that not look decadent oh my goodness so I threw my pie crust back in for two more minutes um, I am just not 100% sure when this is going to turn a deep brown color. Um, it's been boiling here for a little bit. Um, I had to turn the heat down and nothing's changing color. So um, I may pull it off here pretty soon and just go ahead and do the next steps. So I will tell you, I didn't realize that you needed to toast your pecans. 
Uh, in the recipe, she recommends toasting in an oven at uh, 400 degrees for five to six minutes, but I just threw mine in the um, little skillet there on some medium heat, and I have been kind of stirring as I've been standing here stirring this, and I'm telling y'all, it smells so good in here. Um, it reminds me of being in Charleston, South Carolina, and being in just some of the um, shops there. Oh my gosh, we had like these delicious, delicious pecan goodies there. So if any of y'all are from Charleston, that's my favorite city. I love it there. So I decided to turn up the heat a bit to try and get this, I don't know, to turn that dark golden brown color. And it's just not. It's pretty soft pale yellow color. It, as you can see, it's doubled. Um, well, not doubled, but it's quite puffed up from boiling. So anyways, I think I'm probably just going to pull this off the stove now and go ahead and add um, the vanilla and the nuts. So this is what everything looks like all combined together. This is the um, vanilla and the extra butter and then you add in your toasted pecans and then you're going to let that sit for 10 minutes. So that's what I'm letting it do. This is how my pie crust turned out. Um, it's a little brown on one side, but that's a-okay. So what we're gonna do is after that 10 minutes is up, we are gonna pour this on top of the pie crust and we are gonna refrigerate it until it is firm. So I can't wait to try it. It smells and looks just every bit as decadent um, as you know a naughty treat. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, so this is everything after sitting for 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, it is thickened up and it just smells really good. I had a teeny tiny little taste test and it's delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into the pan and get this in the fridge. Um, I think, no, that is still kind of warm. So what I'm gonna do is my friend Jennifer, hello Jennifer, um, uh, crocheted me these beautiful hot pads so I'm gonna put this into the fridge and put the pie on top of it so that it doesn't you know mess up with my fridge glass or anything like that not that it probably would but just in case okay so there it is all together and I've got to tell you guys I licked the spatula oh it is so good it tastes exactly like pecan pie just so 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 good and you can't even tell it's a trim healthy mama healthy treat. Okay guys, so here they are all cut up. I decided to just cut them into squares rather than doing triangles. Um, I just felt like that would be easier for me. The crust was a little crumbly in spots and it's not overly sweet. I think next time I would add a bit of sweetener to the crust um, just for my own palette. Um, and maybe just a little bit more butter. Now, when I transferred everything into my mixing bowl, into my kitchen mixer, that may have been part of the problem. I may have, you know, not gotten enough of the butter or water into the um, into the kitchen mixer. I'm not sure. It's probably my error. However, I think next time I'll add just a teeny bit more butter, maybe half a teaspoon or more. Um, but the filling is delicious, guys. It tastes just like a pecan pie. I mean, it just tastes really, really decadent. Um, this is what the bottom looks like. And they're delicious. Really, really good. I definitely recommend this recipe. And I think this would be a recipe that would be really great to take to a potluck or to some other type of event like that. It's, I give it a thumbs up. It's really good. Let me know if you try it out and what your thoughts are or if you've tried it before. I hope you guys have a good day. I will see you in my next video. Bye.